what is up gamers and welcome back to another video and we have an update series 8 rule sets have been announced and according to Cerebi, well let's just check it out the pokemon sword and shield rank battle series 8 rule sets have been announced allows for usage of one restricted legendary per team from february 1st to april 30th so we're on the 21st so we are getting close the first of april is when these new rules will go live so i just want to make this little update video and i wanted to see what you guys thought about this because for those of you that don't watch my streams or you don't know that I live stream, I live stream every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Um, recently, Wolfie had, Wolf Click had a friendly online competition where they were running these rules. Except they were running the G, was it GS Cup rules? Where it is two legendary Pokemon per team. So for those of you that played VGC back in like 2016 and 2019, the same thing, uh, those, are the, those are the rules back then, where you were allowed two legendary Pokemon per team. And during that online competition, that friendly online competition, I was talking about, I would I would have loved to, I would have loved it if it was one legendary Pokemon per team. Not two. That's how I would have loved the rules back then. Because if it was one legendary Pokemon per team, this means that Xerneas and Primal Kyogre teams wouldn't happen. This means that uh, Primal Kyogre and Rayquaza teams wouldn't happen because you were only allowed one restricted Pokemon per team. And now, we're gonna get Series 8 in 2021, and we are allowed one restricted Pokemon. Just one, not two, just one restricted Pokemon. And honestly, I am, I'm okay with this. I don't know how uh, any of you feel about this, but I actually love this rule that we only get to bring one restricted Pokemon. So this kind of makes it a little bit more easier. And so this makes it a little bit more easier now when you have to try and counter whatever it is, whatever the top used legendary Pokemon are gonna be. Now I feel like it's gonna be a little bit more easier trying to counter them since we only have to worry about one restricted Pokemon per team. While in the past, we had to worry about two restricted Pokemon. So back then, when you had to, uh, if you were playing in VGC 2016, you had to worry about Xerneas and Promo Groudon. You had to worry about Rayquaza and Promo Kyogre. And taking on those two was pretty difficult. There's a reason why they were very popular and they worked well together as well. But now, only one restricted Pokemon, and I'm all for this. And Calyrex, definitely, um, if this is gonna end up just like the online competition that Wolfie ran, then we are definitely looking at Calyrex, uh, the Ice Rider forms, both of them. The Ice form and the Ghost form, pretty sure those two are gonna be very, very popular because they are very broken. Their stats are absolutely insane. But again, I, I, I'm very excited about this. I'm very happy about this because I want to see how this meta is going to play out now that only one restricted Pokemon is going to be allowed. So let me know down below. What do you think about this? Are you excited for this? Do you or do you wish that this would have stayed with two restricted Pokemon per team? Or are you happy with this rule with only one restricted Pokemon per team.